All right, so a quick tip for you guys with exporting. Uh, if you come in to export audio video, typically what you're gonna do is render the whole track as a mix, and that would be master, right? That's just gonna give you your stereo master. But if you wanted to get all the separate tracks, you could come in here as all individual tracks, and then it would render each of these as audio. In some cases, this works pretty well to archive your songs, because this way, if you have all the individual audio tracks rendered down, if any of your plugins fail in the future, or you have any issues with your current DAW, or if you change DAWs later, you've got all those original audio versions of the track. And what I would recommend is that you include the return track in the master effects. So then it'll go through and render every separate track. It's also going to render the groups as well. So it's going to render both the groups and the event individual tracks. So you have the choice between the two. But if you're pulling all the tracks in, you're gonna to want to get rid of either the individual tracks within the group or the group tracks, all right? Then you have selected tracks. And that's what I wanted to get into here. I'm in a situation where I just want these tracks here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'll first select these tracks here, just like that. And then I'll come in, export, and then select selected tracks. And then it's just going to render these particular tracks here, like so. And when you are rendering, uh, don't dither your track. Normally the dithering is going to be for your mastering engineer. So if you already dithered your track, it's actually gonna be a little less effective if you're gonna get your track mastered. If you're trying to master your track yourself, then you will want to dither your track with one of these options. I like to use uh, triangular, uh, but that's just a preference of mine. You can try whatever you want. Uh, then just go ahead and hit export.